All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Excellent. Good. Excellent, right? Okay. So today, you know that uh, we are uh, going to learn uh, about the writing skill, right? So turn to page uh, 62 on your course book, the Academy Expert, right? So B1 level. So you can see that writing an essay is very important for you. So today I will tell you about a method, right? How to write a body paragraph, okay? You know that you have learned about how to write the introduction already. Now we move to another part that is a body of the essay. So today I will give you a very specific method to build a strong paragraph, okay? And now look at the screen, please. You can see over here. So, what is it? What is it? Can you guess? Pie. It's a it's a pie, pie right? P I E, right? So, um, have you have you ever eaten a pie? Yes. Yes. yes, yes already. Okay. So, what can you see in the pie? Uh, big please. Uh, I see uh, strawberries uh -huh. in the middle uh -huh. and uh, cake. Right. Okay. Thank you. So how many layers can you uh -huh. see in the pie? We please. Okay, I see four layers. Four? Yeah. Four layers? Four, three? Oh, three. Three. Just three. Three, three layers, three, right? Yeah. Three main layers. Okay. So pie here. Why do I say about the pie for today? I would like to introduce you about a method. How to write a, a strawberry wrap. We call that is a pie. But of course, it's not a pie that you eat every day. So what does a pie mean? You know that uh, the key elements in a paragraph can be compared to a pie. So you can see. It. So today we learn about the PIE paragraph method. So what, what does PIE stand for? Okay. The body paragraphs are as easy as a pie here. You can see here. The first one, that is a crust of the pie, we call that is a, a point, okay, a point. The, la the, the middle layer, we call that the information, or we can say that it is an illustration, you know, the illustration, right? We can call that the information because we, we illustrate uh, the body paragraph, the point, by giving the information. So we call that is an illustration or information. And the last one, the layer, the last one is about the explanation. Explanation. So P stands for point, I stand for illustration or information. And the last one is the explanation, that is a stand for the E, right? Okay. So in the first you know sentence of the paragraph, you should make in your point here. Alright? In your first sentence, you answer the following questions. First, uh, what is the point of this paragraph? What is your stance on this particular issue? And most time, the part of the paragraph is also known as the topic sentence. You can see over here, right? Example. Uh, Jan, you can read the sentence, please. Okay. Uh, I think that out of all of the types of pie that there are in the world, chocolate and peanut butter pie is the best. So when you read this sentence, can you see what is the point of the writer? Do you see? So what is going to next? What's happening next for the, the other sentences? So this paragraph talks about, what does this paragraph talk about? You please? It states the, the writer idea that the chocolate and peanut butter pie is the best. Right! So that is the key point, right? The key point. So it, the topic sentence, right, of the paragraph, tell you the key point that the writer is going to explain later, right? So you can see that here we talk about the chocolate and peanut butter pie is the best, right? So the main point is uh, the best. The key word is the best. So the next sentence is you are going to prove that. The, this pie is the best among the other pies. So what is the topic sentence? That tell you about the general idea, right, of the paragraph. Give the, give the readers about what's going next. 
You see what I mean? So you have to need a general, right? General idea of the paragraph by making a point in the topic sentence. Okay? Are you clear? Yes. Do you have any questions? Right? Usually the common mistakes for all the candidates or the students is that you cannot generalize the main point. Right? Sometimes you just give about the supporting idea, not the main idea. Right? So try to generalize your idea, right? To make a point to give the reader, right, about what's going next. Okay? That is a point. The next one. That is a illustrate your point. But how? You answer the following question when illustrating your point is that how the point supported with specific data, experiences, or other factual material. So, if you want to prove the main idea of the paragraph, you have to give him more information, details, okay, relating to the point, okay. So how you can talk about the, uh, you can give some about the statistic, right? Examples, or the information relating to the point. Okay, read the second example, please. Uh, you please. Uh, to elaborate, I am an adventurous eater, and I have and have tried many different kinds of pie in my life, including blueberry, strawberry, pumpkin, pecan, and cherry. However, peanut butter pie always seems to taste the best. Also, in 2012, at an annual good food pie contest, the winner was a chocolate peanut butter pie. Okay, you can see here how many sentences, how many sentences they were used. How many? Three. Huh? Three. 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 So usually, when you illustrate your point, okay, to uh, support your main idea in the topic sentence, you use about two or three, but at least two sentences. You can see, right? So how do I illustrate my point here? Uh, Vic, can you tell me the first sentence? So how do I, I give? Uh, to elaborate on... Um, uh, adventurous eater uh -huh. and have tried many different kinds of pie in my life including blueberry, strawberry, pumpkin, uh, pecan and cherry. So the first sentence to illustrate, I talk about something in general. Okay? Something in, in, in general. And then I go to specific. And I use the linking however. however. So the linking word is very important to connect all the ideas in the paragraph, okay? So to contrast your idea or to make it more ascending, you can use a contrast linking verbs, a linking word, right? To make it clearer. We, tell me about the second. However. Okay. How, however, chocolates, peanuts. Butter Peanut pie. butter pie. Pie always seems to be taste the best. Okay, thank you. That is the second. So, after talking about something very general, I move to the main point. That is, I confirm that chocolate peanut butter always, right? And we want to use seems, seem yes. to taste the, the best. So I use a lot of synonym, right? Ah. Right, synonyms are like uh, to taste the best, eat the best. So there are many different ways to think that to, to express your idea that is the chocolate peanut butter pie is the best. But there are many ways to express it. Okay? You want to prove it again but try to use a different you know synonyms, different vocabulary. And you can use the words that seem. The word seem, the verb seem here is, you know, you think that is your idea, right? Your idea. So you want to be more objective. Huh? I start to use the word seem. Seem to take the best. Okay? Seem to take the best. So that is your, your feeling, right? So to, to be more objective, right? The last sentence, you please have. Also, also is in 2012, at the annual Good Food Pie Contest, the winner was the chocolate peanut butter pie. Mm. You can see that I did is an exam. This is an example. example. Giving an example, or 
you can tell about the personal experience. Okay? So when you develop, you know, the ideas in the paragraph, you can use your example. Okay? You can, uh, you know, cite uh, about uh, the contest, okay? About competition, right? About a fact that you have learned from the newspaper or somewhere, some of the other sources, okay? So here, we can have an example. And I can tell you about the a uh, very specific example that in 2020, uh, 2012, the end of good food by contest, the winner was chocolate. That means, once a time, I want to prove that the main point here is the uh, chocolate peanut butter by is the, the best. Okay? So all, all your supporting ideas have to, have to support the main idea. Right? You prove that the supporting ideas are relevant what you are mentioned in the topic sentence. Right? Don't write. So the common mistake that, okay? So the student usually, you usually, uh, sometimes you make the irrelevant, you know, supporting idea. That the person doesn't, you know, prove uh, the main idea, the topic sentence. So be careful about that. Alright? Clear? Yeah. So, in the illustration, your point, you just use about two or three sentences only. But remember that you use the linking words, okay? To connect, uh, the ideas together to make the cohesion between the ideas. Huh? And all the supporting details here are really relevant to what you mentioned in the topic sentence. Okay? Yes. So that is a P, right? That is a point, making a point. I is a illustrating the point. And the last one is explaining. So how do you explain here? So you write a concluding sentence, right? Saying that's why this masters or how this relate back to the the prompt. Okay. Now, big brief list example. Uh, both my personal experiences as a pie uh, connoisseur, connoisseur, as well as the judgments of others, do in fact suggest that chocolate peanut butter pie is superior to all other types of pie. Therefore, it can be determined that this pie is, in fact, the best. Okay. How many sentences in this part? Session? Huh? Just two sentences. Two sentences. Okay, so at least, you know, two sentences for each session. Okay? Uh, if you have more time, you can write about three or four. It's up to you. Okay? So, usually here. Yeah. Uh, you can see here that I, I tell about the uh, my personal experience. Okay? Uh, personal experience. As a pie connoisseur, it a, means a pie lover or something. Okay? So, as well as the judgment of the others, I use the uh, auxiliary verb do. What do you mean by do here? Do you know the function of the do here? What do here? You know, what is the function of the word do in this sentence, you know? Jan? Impact. What, what do I want when I use do Emphasis. here? Yeah. In front of the verb suggest. Uh, emphasize. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I want to emphasize. Instead of say, suggest that. So I say, do suggest that. That means I want to put emphasis, right? In the sentence. And in fact, suggest that what? The chocolate peanut pie is superior to other types of pie. So one more time. You can see that is my expression after of the you know uh, before I use the superlative, right? Superlative. The best. best. The best. Right? But now I change to another way to express, right? That is to be superior to. Okay, so that is another way how to say that something is better than the other. Okay, you know, I say that is a peanut butter pie is superior to other types. That means, but be a peanut butter pie is the best, right? But if you can, you you if you want to avoid the repetition, right? You can use a synonym again, right? Another expression that is to be superior to. Is that right? So you can see a variety of expressions and structures in your paragraph. So that, that is the, you know, the point that you can get more grades, okay? Get better score for your PTE, okay? Right? 
try to use a variety of expression. Uh, all right. The last one, the last one. Um, you please, you please. Therefore. Therefore, it can be determined that this pie is in fact the best. Hmm. So that is uh, the concluding, right? Including. Therefore, and can I, I use that? Can be determined that. That's a very strong word. Okay. That is can be concluded that. Okay. Right? Can you conclude that? But instead of I say in conclusion. Uh, to conclude, right, I can say that, therefore, it can be determined that, okay, this part is in fact the, the best, so that is the last sentence, okay, so I have just, you know, that tell you about a uh, way how to develop a, a body paragraph by using the PIE, right, uh, method, so, if you put together now, you can see here. Now put all together. You make a very organized paragraph, right? With a variety of vocabulary and expressions to prove your main point. Okay, can you read the... Um, uh, Janice, can you read the whole uh, paragraph, please? Uh, I think that out of all the types of pie that are there in the world, chocolate and peanut butter pie is the best. To elaborate, I'm an adventurous eater and have tried many different kinds of pie in my life, including blueberry, strawberry, pumpkin, pecan, and cherry. However, chocolate peanut butter pie always seems to taste the best. Also in 2012, at the annual Good Food Pie Contest, the winner was the chocolate peanut butter pie. Both my exper personal experiences as a pie connoisseur as well as the judgments of others do in fact suggest the chocolate peanut butter pie is superior to all types of pie. Therefore, it can be determined that this pie is in fact the best. Very good. Well done. I, I'm really impressed with your accent, right? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. You learn English a lot, right? Uh, I think that you have a strong point in the speaking, right? Because you have a very nice accent. I love your voice. Thank you. All right. You can see that. Right? That is a very good organized paragraph example for you. But now, so here, it's your turn. It's your turn, right? You can see over here um, a small paragraph, and I want you to underline the P, I, and E section in the paragraph below. So I give you about two minutes, okay? So look at the paragraph and tell me. Uh, and underline the P section, okay, I section, and E section. That is a point, the topic sentence, where which sentence is the illustration, and which sentence is the uh, explaining, okay? Two minutes, okay? Yeah, thank you. You know, on the, that is a, a spell graph that I get from the page 62, okay, so you can take a look at your book. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so, okay, now tell me, when, when is uh, the P, please? Okay, I think the P is the first sentence. Mm, the first yeah. sentence, yeah. Can you read it, please? Okay. Tourism. Tourism can have a positive effect on the economy or the country. So you, if you yeah. cannot see, you can go here, okay. all right? You can uh, send here and read, right? Okay. Yes. Can you tell me, what is the key word of the topic sentence in this sentence? The key word. Okay, I think the keywords is tourism. Tourism? Yeah. Okay, of course, that is this one. I'll talk about the tourism. Yeah. But I want you to find out, to identify the keyword, to express the main idea of this topic sentence. Uh, it's the positive effect. Yeah. Correct, right? Do you agree? Yes. That is a keyword. That is a positive effect. Yeah. So the next sentence is, you are going to prove that that is... Positive, okay? Positive effect. So that is a keyword. So a positive effect is a general idea, right? The main idea of the topic sentence. 
You need a phrase like that if you want to write a good topic sentence. Okay? Yeah. Now, what about the I? What about the I, please? Um, big, please. Um, the I. The I sentence is in fact. No other industry in the world employs as many people as tourism. Mm. Um, in 2011, when the global economy was suffering serious difficulties, uh, tourism still grew. That's right, correct, yeah. So, at that time, you see that, okay, they give you the uh, fact, yeah. okay? To prove that, it has a positive effect. effect. Yeah. So, two sentences, huh? okay? So, no other industry in the world employ many people as tourism. That is the first fact. Okay, because it can create many job opportunities for everyone, right? Tourism. So you can see a lot of people work in the hotel, in the restaurant, right? Or work in the hospitality, right? Anywhere, even in the drivers, right? The staff, uh, the hotel staff, okay? So everything. The second one is uh, in 2020, when the global economy was suffering some serious difficulty, tourism still grow. So that means that tourism is always a, a, a demand, right? Right, a need. Okay, a need that everyone to go. For example, after the COVID nineteen, uh, COVID nineteen, everyone, because you know they are captured in the in the houses, right? They cannot go out. So after COVID nineteen finish, okay, they they go. They want to go to go everywhere, right? Travel. So that is why tourism can you know live back. Okay, so that is uh, important. And the last one is about the, um, the E. e. Uh, you please. Um, so there are strong economic reasons for a country to consider encouraging tourism. Yes, okay. So you can see that it, that means that we want to show that again the economic reason, strong economic reason. That is a synonym with the, like a, like a, it gives you a concluding sentence. That is, Tourism can bring a lot of benefits, especially in terms of the, the money, finance, okay? It can bring a lot of money. So, we should develop, our country should develop the tourism. Huh? So, you can see that is, a, that is a, an example, okay? Now, I can give you some handouts, some handout for you to, um, you some handout for you. Some hand out for you, right? Some hand out. So these are the paragraph, right? That you need to do to, uh, you know, to figure out where is the P, right? The I and the E. You see what I mean? Okay. Five minutes. Is that right? Thank you.